Hi, it's Donna from Fan Page Competitions, and today I'd like to ask you, are you running the risk of getting banned from Facebook? Don't let this happen to you. In the last two weeks, there has been a lot of talk about Velvet Burger and Hell Pizza. Both of these Facebook pages were shut down because they ran a legal contest on their pages. You can see here Velvet Burger had 10,000 fans and Hell Pizza had 20,000 fans. Both of these companies ran their contest on their wall, which is against Facebook's terms of service. So how do you avoid this? When holding a Facebook contest, you need to adhere to the rules in order to meet Facebook's promotional guidelines. So let's take a look at what you need to do to ensure that you don't break these rules. First of all, you need to pop on over to this address here, facebook.com forward slash promotional guidelines. And then you need to go through and read and understand these rules and how they apply to you and your Facebook page. Four rules that many people break. Number one is running a contest on a wall. Number two is using a post or a comment as a voting mechanism or as a way of entering into the contest. And number three is using Facebook to announce the winner. And lastly is making the correct disclaimers. So here's some examples of two contests that I recently looked at that are both doing this against Facebook's terms of service. Both of these businesses are running their contests on their wall. They're asking people to share the post as a way of entering them into the contest. And down here, you can see it says to simply click the share button on our large competition banner below to enter. So both of these are against Facebook's terms of service and both of these pages run the risk of having their Facebook page shut down. So what can happen? The consequence is that your page can be deleted if reported to Facebook. You create yourself a social media nightmare when people become unhappy about the outcome and then they report you. And lastly, fans tell other fans about the results causing unnecessary bad publicity. So let's pop on over to Facebook and have a look at how easy it is for somebody to actually go through and report an illegal contest. So you can see here this contest, it says that we need 2,000 shares and we've hit 1,927 shares overnight. So let's hit the target today. Just click share to enter on the banner above. Now, first of all, I'm not sure how they've gone through and they've actually recorded that many shares because to me, that would be a nightmare. And that could possibly mean that if you hit the share button down here and shared it and they didn't see your share, how are they going to record you? This is exactly how you set yourself up for a social media nightmare. But for somebody to come through and if they're unhappy with what you're doing, they simply need to click this X button here and report it and mark it as spam. If enough people do that, this is then flagged through to Facebook and all of a sudden they go, okay, what are these people doing? And they'll come and have a look at what your page is up to. The next step is, is up the top here when you click on this drop down bottom, you'll notice now that we have a feature called report page and by clicking on that and then coming down here to other, you can go through and report these illegal contests. So you can see it's very, very simple for people to come through and report your contest if it's against Facebook's terms of service. So how do you avoid having your page shut down or banned from Facebook? You need to set it up correctly. Find a contest app most suited to the type of contest you're offering, be it that it's a sweepstakes, it's a video or a photo contest, and use the most applicable app. Add the correct disclaimers and make sure you include privacy policies. And lastly, follow the terms of service in relation to how you announce the winner. You cannot do this via a Facebook mechanism. So here's an example of a sweepstakes that is currently running in Facebook. They're using a third party app. They have the correct disclaimers. They've got the official rules down here. They've got a privacy policy and just below that, which unfortunately we can't see in this actual video, it has the disclaimer to say that it's in no way associated with Facebook. So let's recap what not to do. You cannot go through and tell somebody to click like to be entered into a contest. You cannot ask them to share a picture or you cannot ask them to upload a photo to the wall to be entered into a contest. You cannot go through 
and say something like the 10th person to comment will win a prize. Or you cannot say the 120th person to like this page will win. All of these here are against Facebook's terms of service. What you need to do is go through, set your competition up correctly. If you are not sure about running your competition, your contest or a promotion, drop on over to www.facebook.com forward slash fan page competitions and we will teach you how to set up a compliant Facebook contest for your page.